Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, hey, my name is Brittany and I talk all things beauty here on my channel. For today's video, I'm so excited because today I will be showing you all my top 10 favorite grungy eyeshadow palettes. So if you like eyeshadow palettes, then please stick around for today's video. So I did not discover my love for grungy eyeshadow tones until I discovered indie makeup. I feel like typically mainstream brands don't include these very unique special tones within their palettes typically it will be like neutrals warms cools you know whereas like these grungy tones are just so fun and they can really make the look just have a nice twist to it so y'all know i love my neutral makeup but honestly i feel like grungy tones are my new like neutrals um they're just so flattering and i absolutely love them so i thought that this video would be super fun to film because nine times out of ten i'm wearing like a mustard or swampy green in my look and i call that grunge so before we jump in to all of these eyeshadow palettes I just want to do a disclaimer and say that all not all of these are available some of them are discontinued so I just wanted to make that known but I still want to shout them out because they are well loved in my collection so with that said let's start with what I'm wearing on my eyes today and that is the arrow palette from Adept Cosmetics guys this palette it's not available anymore unfortunately it has just quickly like risen up to the top for me. I love it so, so much. So for me, like I said earlier, as far as like grungy tones, all you need is like a mustard yellow and like a swampy green kind of vibe and you can make any look go grungy it's like take a shot every time i say grunge in this video i apologize but like how else do i describe it <laughs> okay so this shade right here is like the love of my life as far as like eyeshadows like this shade it's just a me and an eyeshadow and like i just love all these matte tones and they complement these shimmers so so well some of the shimmers um it's like such a nice gradient they're different but they're similar enough to be like not dupes but they all just look so well with one another I love this palette and also I did mix one shade from this palette um let me see it is the beach shade I'm rearranging my palettes because I'm making a summer palette with my depths and I had to like rearrange anyways I have this really pretty gold on top just to kind of help brighten it up but that is the palette that I'm wearing on my eyes and I absolutely love it so so much so speaking of Adept I want to mention another palette this is the Heather Austin palette and guys this um, Adept said that they will not be restocking this it's a low in stock so if you want it you might want to get it. It's my favorite palette for a reason. So I feel like one reason why I fell so like head over heels for this palette, it's because this shade mythology and like this super nice green, honestly the mattes, it's what really made me fall in love with like grungy tones because you can make any look kind of lean kind of grungy with this very unique shade mythology and it was just a game changer for me. It's what made me fall in love with this brand is just these mattes and these shimmers took over the game. Anyways, you can have so many different looks with this palette, but if you add the shade Mythology, it's going to make it grungy. And I just love these tones in here, so I definitely wanted to include this palette. So those are my two from Adept. Very well loved. I use them all the time. Okay, so now I want to talk about... <laughs> This is like indie but mainstream because it's sold in Sephora, so I didn't really know how to categorize it, but my Melt palette, I love. So I recently discovered Melt this year, and I'm obsessed. I love these products so, so much. I could have included all of my Melt palettes because I feel like Melt, they use so many different unique tones in their color stories. They're not just like the same boring colors over and over. They really have a twist to all like the saturation to it. So these are the two I picked for this video. Um, this is Gemini. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's a grungy garden. It's so, so beautiful. So you get your neutrals with these greens. Guys, it's so good. I'm not saying that Melt has like the best shimmer formula. It's one where I reach for the mattes. I'll use the shimmer, but nine times out of ten, I'm going to go with the indie single shadow and put on top. But I love the tones. I love the formulation. I'm just not obsessed with the shimmers. And I do like the mattes. Might be an unpopular opinion, but... This one right here is probably like 
grunge if grungy could ever be a palette it's this one this is the 420 palette sorry i have dog hair everywhere but are you kidding me like this one stole my heart i use this all the time especially mixing it with the heather austin palette i love those two in combination so i had to like put these away because i couldn't stop reaching for them but these really made me fall in love with Melt, and I actually placed another order because I liked those so, so much. Um, also, the, what is it, Mary Jane palette, that was one I really fell in love with, and um, so I placed another order. So, I want to mention another kind of like mainstream brand. Um, let's see, this is another very unpopular opinion. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the subculture palette. Now, I don't know if I got a good one. I picked this up at TJ Maxx last year and the quality in here is amazing. I'm not saying it's like the most blendable formula, but I don't get too much like kick up in the pants. I don't know. I guess I got a good one. I love this palette. I feel like if this was to launch today, Everyone would lose their minds over it. This would be their favorite ABH palette. I feel like this palette was launched before its time. Um, but as far as like the color story, yes, yes, it's so pretty. I can't get enough of it. Um, I need to use it more, but like the shade Electric, I don't know. I just feel like this palette was released before its time. I do want to use this more. I'm definitely going to incorporate this with some of my spring palettes just because like you can have pastels, but then you add a grunge to it and it's just like, oh, it's just perfection. Speaking of pastels, I wanted to mention this one. This is the Trio Chrome palette from Natasha Denona. This is pastels with a twist of grunge to it. Um, so I, uh, for me like this the, like the top row you got that green and you got like this more of a mustard shade but even some of these orange tones and like these purples can be kind of like dirty like the pinks too I don't know I love this matte formula so so much the shimmers are fine they're nothing to like rave about but as far as this palette goes the star of the show are the mattes in here they're so unique to my collection as far as like the tone so this is grungy pastel and i love it so so much for that reason because if it was just a pastel palette i'd be like cool you know i'd like it but i wouldn't love it but that those unique tones in it just make me love it okay so let's see i want to talk about the Druid palette from A Fantasy Cosmetica. Um, so this is what the inside looks like. This is not like my favorite matte formula, but they have improved their quality over time, but I still adore this palette. Love it. These shimmers are so sparkly. There are some that are really shifty in here. Y'all know if you are familiar with my channel, I love this palette so, so much. And this is definitely like a beginner friendly grungy palette, I would say, because the mattes aren't super pigmented and you can kind of like, you can kind of like take your time and blend them out. Definitely my favorite palette from the brand. It is incredible and I just love those tones. I'm a sucker for it. Next, I want to mention a palette that is very new to my collection. This is from Glaminatrix. This is the Nocturnal palette and this one is no longer available, but they have been saying on their Instagram for like so, so long that, you know, we're low in stock or this is going to be the last restock. So I feel like anyone who wanted this palette probably was able to pick it up because they definitely were really good at communicating. And I think whenever I saw like their Instagram post, it was like two, 200 left I was like oh my god I have to get the palette it's like something took over me and I had to have it and I'm so glad that I picked this one up I have not used these two blue tones yet but I've used all the other shades I definitely want to use those um I just want you to know I haven't used those two but as far as the other shades go they are so yummy this shade this shade this shade can make it all grungy obviously i'm repeating myself mustard swampy greens y'all know the drill dirty shades like that i love how you can like make it super deep with this black and smoky the shade like as far as shimmers go in here they're so sparkly some of them are shifty if you just go into this shade right here and like this brown very softly you can get an everyday shimmer and this shade milky way it's pink with a blue sparkles and reflex it has a very unique pastel shift to it. I don't know. I love it. This palette is definitely going to be top tier in my collection. I can already tell you at the end of this year, expect this one to be like way up there because I love it so, so much. 
but I'm going to stop raving about it because you can't get it anymore. <laughs> okay, so I had to mention Give Me Glow. Um, I have actually rearranged these shadows in here, so this isn't like the palette as you would buy it today, um, but this is a Juicy Olive palette. It's a very monochromatic green palette, but I, I, I love mixing and matching my palette, so I added a mustard yellow in here and a super dark, deep, rich plum brown. Um, let's see, and I added the shimmer just to kind of give it some versatility, and I like how it can go light to deep, and I like that with this shade, it's not just like a monochromatic green, because there was another green in here that was very similar, but this is the like the palette curation I created for myself. I love it. <laughs> I just had to mention Give Me Glow, because I use their shadows at least once a week, sometimes even more, if I'm not testing a new palette. Just an amazing formulation, and this is one that really made me fall in love again with those grungy tones. It made me feel very comfortable, like I was mentioning the Heather Austin palette, and this one, and like the Fantasy Cosmetica Druid palette, and like my Melt. These palettes just made me feel comfortable in color without being like boom, very vibrant rainbow tones. Grunge is just like a little bit more toned down. It's not everyone's vibe, but it's definitely mine. Okay, so I want to next talk about a very new palette to my collection. This is the Ace Beauté Tropical Vibes palette. This is not new, it's just new to me. And I wanted this for so long and I eventually broke down and got it. Um, so that just kind of like tells you something. All the eyeshadow palettes that we see today, there's a new one being launched every single day. And even though this isn't like new, it's still like caught my eye and I'm very excited about it. I've used every single shade in here. Um, the metallics are fine. They're nothing special. So this is one where if I reach into this, typically I will layer an indie um, a single shadow on top of it. But look at these tones. Like, are you kidding me? And I think that they did a really nice job adding, like, this more blue tone. And then this shade over here just gives it a little bit more versatility. And this super dark, deep. It's not black. It's not gray. It's not purple. I don't know what you call it, but it's amazing. And this shade right here can really take the palette to the next step. So, I love it. And I'm so, so glad that I picked it up. And if you just want, like, an everyday look, I like to go in with this shade Palm Tree. And then this shade Rainforest. And I'm good to go. So, I've been enjoying that palette. So, the top two I've been playing with the most recently are these two. Because I'm testing them out. Because I always do an end of the month palette ranking. So, I'm just trying to use those up as much as I can. And I believe the last one I want to talk about. This one is the Muse palette from Cosmic Brushes. This is kind of like stretching it a little bit. But I needed a 10th palette. And I will say that whenever I reach for this, if I go into this shade Admire and Willow, like this more sagey, olivey green, like these tones, you can get it pretty deep. You can even make it a little smoky with the shade Fig. So I feel like these tones can really transition it to like a grungy look, if you will. Or you could go super soft and romantic. So I think that this palette is very versatile in that way. And I love it. It's like a, how would I say this? A neutral girl's grunge palette in a way. Anyways, this video was so, so fun to film. I love this little, pa all these like palettes right here are just some of my favorites in my collection because I love those very unique grungy tones. Let me know in the comments what are some of your favorite grungy palettes because like what palettes do I need to add in my collection? If you're obsessed with it, just let me know. I hope to see mainstream brands add some of these tones to their line because like could you imagine if like Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath, like Too Faced, um, Tarte, they start coming up with these unique fun tones versus just like the same neutral, cool, warm shades. I think that everyone would lose their minds and I think that the business would really thrive by adding something a little different to their lines. Anyways, just something to think about. Let me know in the comments, but that's going to do it for me in today's video. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. I hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful. Bye guys. Yeah.